You know, a friend of mine asked me the other day, Dave, what would you do if you had 30 days to live? And you know, as soon as he asked me that, I had to think about it. You know, the brevity of life, the frailty of life, it, it's so real. And um, you know, very often we'll, we'll think we're invincible, we'll take uh, for granted next year, and we'll put things off that we want to do. But we're really, the truth of the matter is, we're not even guaranteed next week, we're not guaranteed tomorrow, we're not guaranteed the next hour, or even the next minute. And you see, when, he, when my friend asked me that, I, I was taken aback a little bit. I didn't know uh, what, what, what is it that I would do if I had 30 days to live. And, you know, I thought about it and I, what, I would have, what I would do if I had 30 days to live is to live my life to the fullest, I would see as being able to help other people not, uh, so that they can have a better life, not to, so that my name will be remembered, but so that they will have some extra hope, some improvement in their lives. You know, I, I want to ask you, what would you do if you had 30 days to live? What is it? Is there some one thing or are there a few things that you would want to do? You, you know, Proverbs says, do not boast in tomorrow because you don't know what it will bring. And that's the truth of the matter. We don't know if we're going to have tomorrow. And you don't need to be know, realize that you're about to die before you start living. What I mean, you start living when you really live for something that's greater than yourself. When we think about only having 30 days to live, we, we kind of freak out a little bit. We get scared. But really, um, uh, fear, um, it's, it shouldn't be a factor in what we do. And uh, we have to be objective about everything that we do. And you're asking, you may be asking me right now, Dave, what are you trying to say with this? 30 days to live, okay, what do I do? What I'm trying to say is everything that you do, think about it. Is it worth doing it? Is it going to have a positive impact on others? God did not give you today because you needed it so desperately. God gave you today because someone else needed you even more. Quit putting off the things that you want to do tomorrow. God has placed those, that vision and the desire in your heart not to do it tomorrow, but to do it now. The future is now. And so don't put it off till next year. Don't put it off till next month. Don't put it off till next week. How much better would our world be if we didn't suck down in fear and we didn't put off those great things that God has put into our hearts for tomorrow? Go out and accomplish those things today.